these slaughter tips will change your life. Like how to 10x your speed development, some unbelievable widgets, common mistakes and how to fix them, and much more things that will blow your mind. Starting with seven extensions that you must have. Okay, so you created multiple to-dos inside your app and then you just forget about them. That's a big problem. So instead, just download the to-do tree and you will see all of your to-dos in one place. Now, what if you want to create color codes for your comments? For this, just install better comments. But what if you're tired of writing boiling plate code? Boiler plate code. The solution is to use the Dart Data Class Generator and the awesome Flutter Snippet extensions. These are code generators, so it's like using a wizard in order to create your code. Oh, you want a stateless widget? Easy. Oh, you want a serialization inside your class? Easy. If you use Flutter, then you know how to fix errors. You slide your mouse over it, and then you find the solution. Boring. It's way too long. Just download the error lens extension and you will see all the errors on the side. Wait, 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 wait. Don't worry, my little attention span monkey. All the information from this video are in the description. Okay, so let's keep going. Okay, so you want to add a dependency in your project. So you go on the website, you copy paste in the pop spec, but why? Why are you doing that? Instead, download the popspec assets. This will allow you to add the dependency straight from the popspec file. Have you ever searched for like three minutes in order to find one image inside your code? Well, if you want to find them much faster the next time, you can use the image preview extension. So right next to your image path, you will see the actual image. Congratulations. You've made it through one minute of this video without opening TikTok. If you think these tips are cool, then be careful because this was just one topic out of five. Dart. Let's talk about it. What is an expression function? Let's say you only need to do one specific action in your function. Yes, you could use a simple classic bracket or you could use the expression function instead. It does just the same thing, but it's a little bit faster to write. And let's be honest, it's just cool to use shortcuts. Usually, if you want to create a condition from your widget three, you will use this. By example, you could say, if it's false, then put a sized box. Yes, this will work since the sized box is pretty much invisible, but this is stupid because instead you could just use the if condition and display the widget you want. Boom, no more useless size box. Okay, so the next step is pretty much just to flex, but there is something called the cascade operator and it's pretty damn cool. Let's say you want to define stuff for your class. You could write them one by one and it will work. Yes, but you could also use the cascade operator and define everything at once. If you add the two dots after the declaration, you won't have to recall the name of the class each time. Pretty neat. Have you ever tried to add multiple widgets in a column? For this, you need to create another column and add all the widgets inside. But this is so boring. Instead, you need to use the spread operator. Just by adding these three dots, Flutter will understand that you want to add multiple widgets inside the first column. Most often, people will add the slash in a string to place weird characters, like the dollar sign. But if you want, you can just add an error before the string. And this will tell Flutter that it is a raw string. So at the end, you don't have to add those slash anymore. As for now, we have only touched the tip of the iceberg with those tips. Before we dig even deeper, let me show you some widgets that will save you a lot of time. If you want to display a message at the bottom of your application, you should use the snack bar widget. But one thing that makes this snack bar look even better is the floating snack bar behavior. This will transform the snack bar from this to this. Visually, it's just better. But what if you need to change the visual of your app depending on the orientation and space available on the screen? For this, you can use the layout builder. In this example, if your screen is bigger than 500, then it will display the red screen. Otherwise, it will be the orange screen. Have you ever tried to fit multiple things in one row, but it didn't fit? So now you have an error and you don't know what to do. Did you know that you could just replace the row with a wrap widget? In this case, the widget that doesn't fit into the screen will automatically be put right under. This is the power of the wrap widget. Now let's talk about another problem you might face with Flutter. What if you want your text to fit exactly in one place? If you make the font size much bigger, it will look like this. But if you wrap the text widget with a fitted box, now the text will fit perfectly. The next widget will blow your mind. It's called the long press draggable. And with it, you can put anything anywhere inside your app. Have you ever tried to copy paste a text from your Flutter app? If you use the normal text widget, it won't work. But if you use the selectable text widget instead, your text is now selectable. Yay! Yay. Yay. Wow. But what if you want to create a gradient text? For this, you need to use the shatter mask widget. 
We've talked about the best extension, the best dark tips, and some really cool widgets. But now it's time to save time. Are you tired of always having to add the const in your code? Well, do I have the solution for you? What if it was just automatic? You can go inside your setting file and add the following code. This will add automatically the const in your code when you save. But even more cool, you can also add the auto format on save and the code will format by its own. So now when you save, all the cons will be added and the code will format automatically, which will make your development much faster. One of the best way to find arguments in Flutter is by clicking the control space and open the box with all suggestions. I'm still baffled when I see some people who doesn't use it. It's just so practical to see all the available options and you just have to start writing what you want and the box will filter the options for you. If you want to go faster with Flutter, you can't escape the refactor. With this, you can wrap an entire widget, remove it, or even extract it in two seconds. Now let's talk about Zen mode. Personally, I don't really use it, but maybe you will like it. You can open Zen mode in a couple clicks. This will remove all distractions and allow you to focus on your code. If you want to use it, it's up to you, but at least you know that it's possible. How can you 10x your speed with Flutter if you don't know these shortcuts? These are the basic copy-paste stuff, these are fantastic and these can be useful once in a while. Pause the video and check if you already know all these shortcuts. But the real question is, what are the common mistakes with Flutter and how to fix them? When you work with a very long list of widgets, you should not use the single child scroll view, but instead the listview.builder. Visually, it will be the same thing, but behind the scene, the listview.builder will only create the widget that are visible on the screen. Overall, your application will run much faster with this lazy loading. If you have used Flutter for a while, you probably know that they are Cupertino widgets. Some people will create logics within the app in order to display the good widget for the good platform. But this is a mistake. There is something called the adaptive in Flutter. Flutter will automatically find if you have an Android or iOS device and display the good widget accordingly. You can use the adaptive for multiple widgets like these ones. Another common mistake is to create extremely long widgets. Take the habits of splitting your code into small blocks. The reason is if you use a set state, by example, within this giant widget, Flutter will rebuild everything. But if instead you create multiple small widgets, it will only rebuild what it needs. There are multiple ways to create a new Flutter project, but the best way to do it is by using this command. It will not only create the project, but also set up the application ID at the same time. Let's say you're trying to debug your app and you use the print function, but Oh no, you can't see all the message from the print. The print function limit the amount of characters you can see. So instead you need to use the log function. This one will display everything. Have you ever searched in your code in order to find a specific section? You don't really remember where it was and it's frustrating. For this, you can use this Flutter tool. The only thing you have to do is to click on the section of your app and Flutter will automatically bring you to the section of the code you need. Just this tip alone will save you a lot of time. Thank you for watching and bye-bye.